I've already moisturized my skin and I used a little bit of my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This one is dark spot correcting. I just started using it, so we'll see how correcting it is. Not that I have a lot of dark spots on my face, but I did have some unevenness and some sort of like leftover freckles. Um, this year my freckles didn't get half as bad as they normally do because I was indoor, indoors all summer long. So I'm going to use a little bit of my Dior Star foundation and the color that I use is 021. So I'm going to use my sponge here to apply this. And it is damp. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows and my nose is itching really bad right now. I'm going to use my um, Anastasia brow dip brow this one is in chocolate and I haven't I've only used this one once as you can see look at my nails I went to a 12-hour uh, movie marathon the other day at a theater in Cleveland called um, Capitol Theater and it was called 12 hours of terror and um, it was just one scary movie after the other and as I was sitting there I was just like picking my nails so I'm going to go ahead and use my 208 brush from MAC. All right, on to eyes. I'm going to use a little bit of my soft ochre paint pot, and I'm just going to put that on with my finger. Okay, for my crease, I'm going to use a little bit of Saddle from MAC, and that's what that looks like. On a 224 brush, this is a real fluffy blending brush. The reason that I'm using this one is because I want, the, um, I want a more sheer application of this. I don't want anything super heavy. This is just going to kind of sit underneath a couple of other eyeshadows that I'm going to go ahead and put into my crease. Alright, the next color I'm using is actually a blush. This is from an old MAC collection. Uh, I can't even remember what collection. If somebody remembers, put it below. I haven't used this in a very, 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 very long time. So I'm putting the most right out here. And then I'm just blending right through the crease. So recently I've had questions about doing makeup for deep set eyes. Every tutorial that I do is for deep set eyes because I do in fact have deep set eyes. One thing that makes me crazy is when someone comes out and they're like, you don't have deep set eyes. Which is completely ridiculous considering I've based my entire channel around the type of eyes that I have. Um, but you always have to take the color, so I'll tilt my head back and I'll get the color right into the crease. But then you also have to take it up onto the brow bone too. So you'll always see me sort of blending in the crease and then up onto my brow bone. You just, you have to do that if you want the color to show. Now through this part here, I don't go all the way up because my eyebrow is pretty close to my crease over here. So I have to be really careful. So this part usually will stay right into my crease, but over here and out in this outer corner, I will definitely take it out um, onto my brow bone. So today's look, I'm going to use the Vice 3 palette. Okay, so the first color I'm going to take is Bondage. Um, this darker color right here. And I'm going to use a 242 brush. And in one of my videos, somebody asked what brush I was using, and I believe it was for placing the eyeshadow. And I will almost always use my 242 brush from MAC. It's my favorite. I like that it's a little bit narrower. The bristles are a little bit more stiff. Even the tip here is a little bit more on the narrow side, and it's good for placing eyeshadow. I do like my 239 brush, but um, I prefer this one now. I just, it's my favorite. And that's going to go right out here. And you just kind of want to pull it through. So always towards your nose. And 
and I'm going to use a 217 brush and just lightly blend okay the next color I'm using is <clears throat> alchemy which is that one there so we used bondage and now we're going to go into a little bit of uh, alchemy color and again on the same brush the uh, 242 and I'm just going to place that in the center of my lid here then I'm going to take my brush and just sort of blur that line there. Okay, I'm going to go into this color here. It's called Truth. And that is going to go into my inner corner. And that's going to go right in here. Okay, what I'm going to do now is use a little bit of Black Track from MAC on this little brush. This is a 210. And I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys. I'm going to start with a little bit of my Pixie Peach Corrector. And I just always put this on with my finger. I don't typically put it on with a brush. Okay, and then uh, for my concealer, I'm going to use a little bit of my... I am so lazy right now. <laughs> a friend of mine gave me this. It is Caramance. I don't know. It says Caramance Pure Moisture Hydrate. It's basically... It's just water. That's what it looks like. So what I've been doing is instead of getting up to go to the bathroom, I've been spraying it into my little <laughs> my little beauty blender. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of my moisture, my moisturizer, my um, concealer on. I feel like, all right, for my under eye area, I did order this from the MAC website. It's called Emphasize. It's a shaping powder. That's what it looks like. But you can use it to sort of add a little bit of a highlighted appearance to certain areas of your face. So I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye area with that. And this is my um, up and up brush, which I really enjoy using. I feel like I need to go get more. The funny thing is... Every time I go to Target now, they're sold out of that four pack that I bought. So there's the Emphasize, which I actually really like a lot. Um, I don't have another powder sitting in front of me, so I'm going to use a real fluffy brush, my 187 from MAC, and a little bit of Studio Fix powder. Um, I did get this also. This is called, this is a sculpting powder as well, and it's called Bone Beige. And it's from MAC. And I thought maybe on fairer skin tones, this might be a nice sort of contour powder. So I'm going to go ahead and try that out and see how it looks. And I'm using a 116 brush for this. I'd like to take the tip and just press it into the powder. Now, like I've said before, I'm really not a big fan of contouring my own face <clears throat> because my um, cheekbones are already kind of high, but I want to try this powder. So, without and with. And then I like to take a little bit of this actually up onto my cheekbone. Alright, so that's definitely something good to look into if you're more fair like I am. I'm going to do a little bit of highlight on my cheekbones and I have my hourglass palette sitting here. I think I'm going to use incandescent light which is the center one that seems to be the most popular color or um, highlight in this little palette. I see a lot of people using that one. I saw that somebody used it so much that that part was they'd hit pan on that part and the other two were still sort of full. I use all three of them but I do find myself going for that center one 
more. For blush, I'm going to use a little bit of Peaches and Cream. This was from the Sharon Osbourne part of the collection. And I'm just going to lightly dust a little bit of this over the top of my the high points of my cheekbone. I kind of like to mix it with the uh, highlighter. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with a little bit of this lip liner. This is Cranberry. It was from, again, the Sharon Osbourne collection. I want to use Soar, but I can't find it. Um, I don't know what happened to it. I have a ton of lip liners here. And I just, oh, here it is. I really wanted Soar. I didn't want to use Cranberry. So I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and use Soar. So I'm going to line and fill my lips in with that. I'm going to use a little bit of my Ample Pink Plush Glass from MAC. Oops. This is one of my most favorite lip glosses, and I'm not a lip person, but I will wear this combination a lot. Okay, so I'm all done. Um, my upper lip is slightly overdrawn. I got really sort of crooked on this side, and then I tried to fix it, and then I was like, oh, forget it. So I evened out this side. So I have a little bit of an overdrawn Cupid's bow, but if you want the appearance of fuller lips, that's something that you can do. It's kind of like overdraw above your Cupid's bow. I think it's really obvious though. Um, like I'm leaving for my doctor's appointment, so to be honest, I'm just gonna take this off because I think, I feel like when somebody does that, it just looks very obvious that they're overdrawing their lips. So, but that is something that you can do. Uh, what I would suggest is if you're going to overdraw is just darken in this area here and don't make it so shiny as in like with your gloss or whatever to kind of hide the fact that you've overdrawn your lip so or like your cupid bow area. So eyes are all done. Um, I feel like just using a paint pot on your eyes and then just adding some color through like the crease in the outer corner it, it makes things quick kind of takes the, I guess, guesswork out of how to combine certain colors because if there's a specific color that you like, you can kind of stay in that color family and just really play up the outer corners of your eyes or your crease and not really have to worry about coming up with a color for your lid that will complement the color that you used in the outer V. So um, I just find that this is really simple and kind of quick. Um, let me know what you guys think of the contour. Uh, like I said, um, I don't, I try not to contour too much. And what's funny is like, I start it here, but the way my cheeks are, it, it's almost like a little, maybe too low. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you guys think of that contour color and the highlight front of the eyes. Uh, I've wanted to emphasize for a long time and I'm like, why haven't I, why haven't I bought this yet? So, um, but that's that. I hope you guys like the look for today. I think it's pretty for fall. I really like this palette. I have two other palettes that I'm going to use. I was going to try to film at least like three makeup tutorials today. We'll see how that goes. But I have the new Too Faced palette and the Tarte palette that came out. So anyway, but I'm off to my doctor's appointment. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, have a great day. Hi to everyone that's new. Thank you for being here. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.